Alright, let's watch, um, let's do my reaction to Ruby Volume 3, Chapter 8, Destiny. Uh, yeah, let's just get right into this. Uh, I think there might be an advertisement halfway through this, guys. This video presented by the new movie, Laser Team. Get tickets now at laserteamthemovie.com. Stay tuned for more info after this video. Have anything to say about this so far? I will say, because I've seen it so many times, is uh, I wonder what uh, who those two people are in the front of Beacon on their uh, statue that are standing on a rock above Grim. Because it can't just be any random huntsman in true life. It probably have to be someone. Video footage and millions of viewers say otherwise. But Yang would never do that. Yeah. You all seem like good students. And the staff here at Beacon are fully aware that you would never lash out the way you did under normal circumstances. What I believe and hope this to be is nothing more than the result of stress and adrenaline. When you're out on the battlefield, your judgment can become clouded in an instant. Sometimes you see things that simply aren't there. Even after the fight is passed. But I wasn't. That's enough! The sad truth is whether it was an accident or an assault, it doesn't matter. The world saw you attack an innocent student. They've already drawn their own conclusions. And it's my job to inform you that you're disqualified. Oh. You guys believe me, right? Duh! You're hot-headed, but not ruthless. Blake? I want to believe you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Blake? How can you say something like that? Yang would never lie to us. I had someone very dear to me change. It wasn't in an instant, it was gradual. Little choices that began to pile up. He told me not to worry. At first they were accidents, then it was self-defense. Before long, even I began to think he was right. This is all just very familiar. Talking about Adam. But you're not him. And you've never done anything like this before. So, I want to trust you. I will trust you. But first, I need you to look me in the eyes and tell me that he attacked you. I need you to promise me that you regret having to do what you did. I saw him attack me, so I attacked back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I think I'm gonna rest up. We'll get out of your hair. I'm surprised Ruby didn't stay around for a little bit longer. This is a mess. Is she doing okay? She's doing the best she can. I heard Mercury and his team rushed back to Haven to be with his family. So, until they land, no one can really question him about what happened. 
If there's anything we can do, please don't hesitate to ask. That sounds familiar. Right, I don't know if said that before. If that's the case, Kira? Hmm? You be sure to win one for Beacon, okay? It's what Yang would want. I'll do my best. Well, that was Osman who said that. What, I'll be what? sure to watch tonight in case you're picked. Sorry, but I think I've had enough fighting for one year. Ditto. Ditto? That's the first Coffee? time I've heard that. Coffee. Tea. Tea. <laughs> nice. You heard the lady. Whoa. No more moping around. What the? We gotta get your butt in shape for the big fight. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be the most important fight of your entire life. <laughs> um. Nora's right. Please you can't let your concern for Yang hold cook. you back. You need to focus. You'll be defending the honor of Beacon Academy. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I... This blend of herbs and vegetables is filled with nutrients vital to your body's well-being. Oh, that's... Please, there's no need to thank me. Thank you? Ugh, that looks like slime from a lake bed. Algae contains numerous spectacular properties. Algae? For yourself? I'm not drinking no algae. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that wasted perfectly good juice. <laughs> to help her and not poison her. There was absolutely nothing wrong with that. Oh. If it looks the same coming up as it does going down, then there's something wrong. <laughs> hey, how about we all get some fresh air? I love how they see how they communicate with each other. It's nice. Hey there, Firecracker. Hey, Crow. <laughs> so, why'd you do it? You know why. All I know is that you attacked a helpless kid. So either you're lying, or you're crazy. I'm not lying. Uh, crazy. Got it. Who knows? Maybe I am. And here I thought your dark-haired friend was the emo one. Who? Oh, Blake. I saw my mom. Raven. I was in a lot of trouble. Took a pretty hard hit. But when I came to, the person attacking me was gone. And I thought I saw... her. Her sword. Like the one in you and Dad's old picture. <laughs> You're not crazy, Yang. That was your mom, all right. Let me guess. She didn't say a word, did she? How did you know that? I don't see my sister very often, but she does try to keep in touch. Whenever it suits her. Oh, so you're an uncle Wait, to your... you mean you talked to her? That was real? Yeah, she found me. Had a tip for my most recent assignment, and wanted me to give you a message. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I was trying to wait for the right time, and this sure ain't it. But I guess you deserve to know. She wanted me to tell you that she saved you once, but you shouldn't expect that kindness again. Raven's got an interesting way of looking at the world that I don't particularly agree with, and she's dangerous. But you're a tough egg, kiddo. You shouldn't let this tournament thing get you down. You had a slip up. Sometimes bad things just happen. I say it's time you move on. Move on to what? Well, Raven let some info slip before she took off. If you ever want to track her down, I think I might be able to help. Well, you're disqualified, so you got nothing else better to do. Hey. 
It's no green goop, but I think it still might do some good. Um, right. Thank you, Jean. At least they can take a hint, like, not even a hint, but like, know the situation. You were the first person to ever believe in me. You know that? Even when I told my parents I was going to Beacon, they told me not to worry if I ended up having to move back home. How depressing is that? That's I'm sad. sure they didn't mean... <gasps> I guess... I'm just trying to say that you've always been there for me, even when I didn't deserve it. And I can tell there's something on your mind, so I don't know. How can I help? You're already doing it. I don't know what to do. W what do you mean? Do you believe in destiny? Um, I don't know. I guess that depends on how you view it. When I think of destiny, I don't think of a predetermined fate you can't escape, but rather some sort of final goal, something you work towards your entire life. Okay. Yeah, I can see that, sure. Well, what would you do if something came along that you never expected? Something that had the potential to stand between you and your destiny? Like what? Or what if you could suddenly fulfill your destiny in an instant, but at the cost of who you were? Pure, you're not making any sense. None of it makes sense. This isn't how things were supposed to happen. I'm sorry, please, I I'm just trying to understand what's wrong. I've always felt as though I was destined to become a huntress. To protect the world. And it's become increasingly clear to me that my feelings were right. But... I don't know if I can do it. Of course you can. The Pyrenikos I know would never back down from a challenge. And if you really believe it's your destiny to save the world, you can't let anything stand in your way. Pyrrha? Stop. Did I say something wrong? Stop! Oh! Linda, maybe we have to repair that. What's with the guy's face? What's going on? He just went home with Shutterbug. How are you going? Hi, Velvet. What are you up to? Oh, you know, just working on my photography. Do you want to see? <laughs> That's. Unless you're taking pictures of the weapons, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about your sister. Is she doing okay? Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Thanks. I think it's just awful what people are saying about her. Yang's such a nice person. Huh. <laughs> well, I'm glad someone thinks so. Most people don't know what it's like on the battlefield. I mean, even experienced fighters can get scared and start seeing things. If it happened to Coco, it can happen to anyone. Coco? Yeah. She uh -huh. swore she saw Yatsu with her in the forest during the fight with Emerald and Mercury, but he never even made it out of the Geyser fields. Stress-induced hallucinations, apparently. Yeah. Oh, sorry.
Uh, I think this might be a uh, cliffhanger moment, but I wonder who's going to be up next. Emeralds here? Ruby. Now time to begin the randomization process for our next fight. What are you doing, Ruby? Mercury? It looks like our first contender is Penny Polentina from Atlas. What are you doing? And her opponent will be Pira Nico from Vegas. Polarity versus metal. That could be bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay. Oh, come on. Yeah. Why doesn't Ruby have her, grr, have her, what's, a scythe on her? Like, that makes zero sense, she always has it on her. Nice concept art. So Crow and uh, Raven are um Hey everybody uh, yeah, I'm quiet. So Crow and Raven are brother and sister. I thought it was gonna be Crow and uh, their father. Uh, well <sighs> anyway. Thanks for watching. Y'all are awesome. Stay awesome. Oh come on.